Jack's shoulder blades made connection with the brick wall at his back, arched his head 75 degrees towards the sky and expelled cigarette smoke from his pink and tender chest, a convincing affectation of self-assurance it seemed. His life in manual focus, currently 30 frames per second, aperture 5.6, far above this ground God knows. The diamond industry is a slave trade, though Jack certainly didn't care. See, Jessica Bewley sucked his tiny cock last year. He's God's gift to earth, they said. A man for all occasions, the type to do you right and put a lame fist to your brother's face. The smoke rises and changes course as it weaves through the steel wire atop the wall. The cloud that exists so magnificently, even if just for a moment, and then fades into the atmosphere as if it never was. Somewhere else at some other time, Jack is alone with Jack's reflection. His reflection who sees through his skin and bones and out the bathroom door to the highest shelf of the plywood wardrobe harboring the pantomime costumes of a man who only may have at once been real to the bed that holds his head to the street lights amber glow that hosts the rain and spotlight the pavement a stage for actors terrible deeds and phony lovers i wonder what jack might think between the threshold of the wet night and the ground floor corridor of Jack's apartment building, he lingers, gripping hands with the gods of indecision and regret. Thank you.